Hi everyone, Carol here from your fitness team. Um, wow, I realized today that it's been a little over two months since I've actually been with you face to face, but we'll continue these recorded videos for your enjoyment and to keep you active and healthy and uh, keep moving. So this one, that I'm going to begin in just a moment is my typical Monday, Wednesday, 9.30, mostly seated class with some standing balance and a little bit of standing leg work. So this is a really good class for all levels. You can increase your weights, you can increase your intensity, you can stand sometimes while I'm sitting, if I'm doing, I'm gonna do the cardio seated on this recording, on this video, um, and you're welcome to stand, maybe use the chair more for balance. So if you wanna increase the, the intensity and the, uh, the level of difficulty, you can always do that. And if you wanna bring it down, you can do that too. You don't have to stand when, when I stand. Um, you can use lighter weights, you can use no weights, you can take breaks every so often, maybe if we're doing um, an exercise such as bicep curls, you do every other. So I'm hoping that this video will appeal to everyone that's watching, all fitness levels, all populations, no matter what um, you've done in the past exercise-wise. I hope that you can enjoy this video and join us and make this work for you. So in saying that, you're just gonna have your chair in a nice clear spot, nothing around you so that when you do stand, you don't worry about tripping over anything or rolling an ankle. Use a, chi a kitchen chair, something with a nice hard surface so that you can sit up tall and actually scooch at least midway forward um, on your chair so your back is not hitting the backrest, you're not resting, you're actually sitting up tall pulling your belly button in towards your core and engaging your core, strengthening your back, strengthening your core at the same time and um, sitting up as tall as you can. So think about lifting your heart, letting your shoulders melt to the floor. Think about you're sitting up nice and tall and if you were standing, you'd be standing as tall and as erect as a soldier. So with saying that, I'm gonna begin the music and we're gonna start our program. So again, remember, sitting up nice and tall, forward on your chair, and we'll just start to tap our toes, alternating, alternating. Tap those toes. Right, left, right, left. Let's do eight more. We have eight, seven, four more. Two more now. Balls of your feet on the floor. Lift one heel, lift the other. So I'm just starting out nice and slow. Half time. And now lift, alternating these heels a little faster. That's two, four more, and three more, and two more. Bring your heels down and roll your feet forward and back. Start to sit up even taller. Bring your knees together, bring your toes together, bring your inner thighs together. Open your toes, open your knees. Out and in, out and in. Let's do four more. Open, close. Two more times. One more time. Now let's go a little faster. We're adding it for eight. Eight and seven. Four more times, and then we'll take our heels wide, but we'll go slow. Big toes together, heels out, out and in. So think, external rotation as your heels go wide. Let's do four more. Four. Two more. And then we'll pick up the beat again, adding in for eight. Eight, seven. Four more times. And now toes out slow. Toes together, now heels out slow. Heels together. Out, in. Let's do two more just like that. Toes out, heels out. One more time. Toes out, heels out. And now a little faster. We go toes, heels. So don't think, just let those toes go wide, let those heels go wide. We'll do four more. Out, out. Two more. Toes out, heels out. Roll your feet, heel toe, heel toe, rock and roll. Start to open your knees. So your knees go hip width as you roll your feet. Heel toe, we'll do four more and three more and two. And then we're just gonna peel our toes, hold them up, hover, march on your heels, tiny, tiny little march. So it feels a little heavy on those legs as you keep your heels down, toes, heels up. Four more, four and three. And now drop your toes, hover your heels a little easier here. March, march, march. Let's do eight more and seven. Four more times. And then we're going to march with all our heels tapped out. So we march, we lift our knees a little higher. Four more times. 
four, and three, now slow, right heel comes forward, out, in, alternating heels, four more, right, left, four, two more, one more, now let's do toe taps, come quick to the front, eight, and seven, four more, then we're going to do little kicks, point those toes, and air kick, kick, and kick. Four more air kicks with your toes and then you're going to flex your feet as you're, you're kicking with your heel. 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 Four more times. Four and three. And now tiny march. And march, march, march. Breathe. So we're going to start to lift our knees. We're going to pause. We're going to give a little help with our fingertips. Lift. Lower. Four more knees. Four. Make sure you're breathing nice, steady breath, not halting your breath. Now lift your leg, extend it up and out. Up, out. So your hands can come below your right thigh and your left thigh. Give it some help. As you extend down, press through the heels as you extend that leg straight. Up, out. Now open your knee to the side and come up. Open, close, and lower. Up, open. Close, let's do two more. Up. One more time. Up. Open, sit up tall. Right toe comes forward. Right toe crosses over the left foot. Right toe comes forward. Right foot comes back in. Under the knee, now left side. We come out. And cross over. Out. Cross over. Now a little faster. We come out. Cross. Out. And back. Up. Cross. Let's do two more. These are going to think of the tempo. One more time, a little faster than this tempo. And now, here we go. We go out, cross, out, in, out, cross, out, in. Working this as well. Four more times. Two more, out, cross, in. Last one. Lift those heels and lower. Lift, lower. Two more times, we're going to let our feet stay on the floor, stand up tall, knees up with our hands, knees, shoulders, breathe, lift your heart, lengthen through your spine, let's go faster, knees, shoulders, knees, shoulders. So as we do the arm work, if your shoulders are barking at you, make a modification so that you eliminate any pain you might be having. Let's do four more knee shoulders, two more, now cross your shoulders, sit up tall, give yourself a hug. Two more. One more now. Let's go faster for eight. Let's do eight. Seven. Four more times. Four and three. Now hands on the shoulders. Elbows in line with the shoulders. Reach out. Tap your shoulders. Out and in. Let's do one at a time. Right arm. Left arm. One more each arm. Now both arms. One more time. Out and in. Out and in. Two more times. One more time. Hands on the shoulder. Lift your elbows out to the side. We can open and close. So try to lift your elbows as high as your shoulders, unless your shoulders are barking at you. That's your modification. Four more. And three. And two. One more time. Sit up tall. Now reach out. Right arm out. Now we're going to switch away from side to side. Side to side. Again, if your shoulders are barking at you, lower those elbows on down. Two more times. Last one. Both hands on our shoulders. Sit up top. Close your elbows close. And open. Let's do two more. Let's do one more. Then we open our elbows. We sit up tall. Circle those elbows. Draw circles. Tiny circles. Reverse. Reverse. Back, back, back. Sit up tall. Reach out. Lift your heart. And melt everything on down. Roll those shoulders. Very nice job. Lift those arms forward and back. Roll those wrists one way or the other. Wiggle the fingers. Intertwine in front of your heart. Pull up into the heart. And then we're just going to come in, out. So notice those little palms with the heels of your hands. Not quite yet. Let's do four more. Three. Two. One more time. Deep breath and pull them in. And now let's turn them on out and pull and breathe. Pull it on in, flip those arms on out, float them on down, 
Draw the shoulders, loosen it on up. Let's do a nice big heart over. We lift our shoulders up, we press on down. Press your arms behind you like a cave. Lift your heart, expand across your chest. Push your shoulder blades together. Hold, maybe hinge forward a little bit, a few inches at your hips. And then we'll release it and then float those arms around. One more time, coming into a core twist. Sit those legs up together, sit up nice and tall. We're going to reach with our left hand over to the right, outside of the right knee. Add a big twist from the belly. And then take your gaze over the right shoulder. Staying right there. So, we're twisting from the belly. Following with the heart. And then lastly, your chin goes over the right shoulder. Think about your chin's parallel to your floor. And we'll unwind. We'll do the same thing. Reach with the right over to the left. Big twist to your left. So twist from your rib cage, from the belly, following the heart. Lastly, chin follows over that left shoulder. And then we'll unwind. We'll back, go back to the front. Walk those knees hip width. Maybe run into the top of your thighs. Warm up those major muscles running down the top of your thighs, those quadriceps, so you can dig nice and deep. Feel the warmth of that. And then we're going to release our hands and place them underneath our right thigh. Lift that right leg up on the head. Head into the palms of your hands as we're pointing and flexing our foot. We point, we flex, we point, we flex. And then flex your foot. Oh, really warm up that ankle. Make it as large as you can on your circle. Change direction. Flex your foot and hold. Extend that heel all the way out in front. You don't have to lock your right knee. It doesn't feel good for you. Sit up nice and tall. We'll reach with the right arm shoulder height. And then as if you're reaching across your room, shoulder height. Curling your right toes towards your heart. Feel that big stretch. Melt that right hand down, lift that right foot, place it on your floor, roll your shoulders so we remind ourselves to sit up tall. Then we'll take our left leg and we'll lift it and we'll flex and point. Flex your foot and hold, roll in a circle. Change direction, flex your foot. Extend that heel, sitting up tall. Crawl your left toes up towards your heart as you hinge at the hips, reaching forward. Melt that hand all down, lift it on up, sit up nice and tall. Grab a quick drink if you like. So, from here, we're going to think about breathing steady breaths as we start to add some uh, weight training. If you're using weights, so grab either your light weights, maybe heavier if you choose, water bottles, or maybe you're not going to use weights at all. So we're going to sit forward on our chair, we're going to sit up nice and tall. Our palms are going to face into each other. We're going to bend our elbows. We're just going to start to lift it an inch for eight, seven, six, and five. Two more now. Hammer curl up, up, and breathe. Four more. Here we go. Four, three, and two, one more time, open out to the sides, elbows are tucked in at the front of your shoulders or your shoulders are barking at you. Limit the range of motion, don't make it as wide. Four more, four, and three, and two, one more time, let's put it together, have a curl up, halfway down and open. Three more, just like this, up, down, open, close, two more, and open. One more. Bring it back in. Just crawl up and down for four. Four. Two more. Then we're going to turn our palms to the ceiling. We're going to go right to bicep curls. Here we go. We lift. Lower. Breathe. Four more. Four. Two more. Then you're going to reach forward with the palms to the sky. We come back with a twist. Here we go. We come up. Twist back. So elbows are coming behind your hips, behind your rib cage. And reach four more times. Four. And three. Two more times. One more time. Pull it on back. Sit up tall. Lift your heart. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Top of our back here. And squeeze those shoulder blades together. And squeeze. Squeeze. Four more times. Four and three. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Hold it here. Melt your shoulders to the down to the floor. Extend your arms straight. Press your shoulders to the floor with a 
flat, straight back, hinge at the hips ever so slightly. Lift those weights above your hips. The head of the weight, if you're using weights, is pointing to the ceiling. Pulse up, up. Press those weights up. So think about the cape you're wearing, and it's just waving in the wind behind you, pressing up towards the sky. Lift and lift. Let's do eight more lifts. Eight, take a break if you need it. Four more times. Four and three. Hold it, bend, bend. So we're gonna bend at the elbows, straighten and lift. Bend, bend, straighten, straight arms lift behind. Bend, bend, straighten, just one more. Straighten and lift, pause and hold. So you're pinching forward at the hips. We're gonna float those arms down and forward on a diagonal, keeping our elbows close to our rib cage. We're gonna pull and lift, pull and reach. Pull and lift. Four more. Four and three. Two more times. One more time. Pull and hold. And then from here, let them come to the top of your thighs. Sit up nice and tall. Roll your shoulders out. Loosen it on up. Because we're going to sit up nice and tall if you're using weights or water bottles or even going against gravity. We're going to let our hands float down by our hips. Sit tall, lift your heart, lengthen through your spine. Lateral raise, reaching forward, right arm up for two. Two cats up and two cats down, left side. Up, up, down, and down. We lift, lift, lower, lower. Now let's do singles for four and three. If your shoulders are barking at you, you can skip this one or just bend the elbows. Now go slow. Lift, lift, lower, lower. Lift. Two more. One more time. Singles for four. We lift and lift. Two more. One more time. And now sit up tall, melt those shoulders down, lengthen like through the spine. We're gonna do a lateral raise to the side raise. If your shoulders are barking at you, ditch the weights or skip it. We're gonna come up and down, down. Left side, up, up. So try not to go high, higher than shoulder height. Keep a nice slight bend in the elbows. Lift, lift. Now singles, right, left. Lift and lift. Two more. So we'll slow it down one more time. Right side up, two counts up, two counts down. Left side, up, up. One more each side, nice and slow. We're breathing. Up, up, now singles. Last time for four, four, three, two more. Now if you like and you wanna join me, do both arms up and down for four, four, three, nice job. Two, and one, sit up tall, arms are lengthening down to the floor, we're lengthening through the spine. We're just gonna do a shoulder shrug, shrug up shoulders, two counts up, 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 melt them down to the floor. Feel that lengthening from the top of the shoulder, side of the neck, up, up, down, down, one more time, up, up, and down, down, and then sit up tall, press your shoulders to the floor, Put your arms out just a few inches away from your hips, and we're just going to take our weights, and we're just going to sort of twist and flip forward and back, forward and back, and then have your knuckles down to the floor, and we'll just circle our wrists with those weights in changing directions every three or four rotations. Loosen it up, float them on down, and then we'll just carefully, we're going to lift those weights if you're using them or water bottles to the top of your thighs. If you can, without dropping anything, grab a quick drink. As we prepare, maybe roll the shoulders, maybe roll the wrist, maybe shake it out, maybe even massage into the shoulders. That's a lot of shoulder work. Sitting nice and tall on your chair. So if you're using weights on this one or water bottles, we're gonna take them out towards our kneecaps, but not on our kneecaps. So they're out, think about towards the knees. We're sitting up tall. Starting out with knee raises, nice and slow, right, left, here we go, lift, lower. So as we do this, I want you to think about placing your foot very softly on the floor. You shouldn't hear your foot drop down. Now two lifts, two up on the right, up, 
up, down, down, up, up. Two more just like this, up, up. One more time, left side. Now, three on the right knee, lift, 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 and then softly place it on down. Up, up, up. Two more, up, up. One more time. Let's flush it on out, singles. Here we go, lift, lower. Big knee raise. Two up on the right, up, up. One more time, left side, up. Now, three up on the right, one down. Three, two, one, and down, last one. Single knees for four, we got this, lift, lower. Two more, then you're gonna lift your knee, you're gonna open it up back to the side. We did this in the warm up. We come up, out, and place it down. Up, open, close, and down. So we're gonna do six more of these, really working that hip joint. If your hips are barking at you, then just make that motion smaller. Don't open out as wide to the side. Couple of more. And down. Now, single knees, lift for four, let's lift. Lower. Two more. One more. Lift that right foot, flex your right foot, hold. Don't hold the breath. Pulse that knee up and in. Slap like our last big hurrah on this. Let's do eight more. Eight, seven, don't hold your breath. Four more. Four and three. Now, lower it on down. Other side, we pulse that left knee up. Feel that quadricep, that top part of your leg kicking in, right? Eight more. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three big flush out single knees, right leg over there. Two more. One more. Sit up tall with your heels and lower. We lift, lower. Two more. One more time and then lower those heels on down. So we're going to ditch one weight, one water bottle, one soup can maybe, or maybe you didn't use any at all. So, if you have your one weight or your water bottle, you're just going to bring it in front of your belly button. We're just going to add a little core twist. So we're going to start out. We're going to take whatever we have in our hand. If you don't have a weight bottle, you can intertwine your fingers. And, and just imagine that you're holding something a little, a little bit, something a little weighted. So, sitting up nice and tall, we're just going to twist to the right. So you're going to twist right above the right hip, bring it back to the center, twist. So if your lower back bar sit you on this one, just don't twist as much. So I want you to think about, as we're twisting, your hips stay front and center. Twist from the rib cage and center. And twist. Let's do four more twists to your right. Back to the center. Twist to your left. Back to the center. Two more. Over to your right. Back to the center. Over to the left. And back to the center. Nice job. So you may ditch whatever you're holding, whether it's a weight or a bottle. So from here, just roll your shoulders. Loosen it on up a little bit. Grab a quick drink. Because this is the point where we're going to stand up and we're going to just do some a little bit of a balance series. If you don't want to stand, you can always remain seated, maybe do some modifications, some exercises, or take a little break at this point. So we are going to stand. We're going to start out on the right side of our chair. I just move my chair over a little bit. So we're standing up, and I want you to think about letting your left hand rest onto the back of the chair. You're not leaning into the chair. You're just having your fingertips on top of the chair. You're going to shift your weight over to your left leg. And you're going to flex your right foot. And I just want you to just do a nice sway. Loosening up the hip, forward and back. We were sitting for quite a little while there. And then lower down, shift over to the right, flex the left, try not to kick the chair as you just swing forward and back, loosen it on up. Lower it on down, maybe pedal your feet side to side. And then all we're gonna do here is we're just gonna bring our right foot directly in front of our left. So imagine you're on a bounce beam, you're standing nice and tall. 
Your feet are flat on the floor. Lift your heart. Your right hand can be on your hip by your side, wherever you like it. And then start to see if you can just come to a left fingertip. Remember, you're on a balance beam. You're standing tall. You're gazing forward. You're not looking all over. And then see if you can lift that left hand up and float it. You're standing tall. You have a very narrow base with your feet because you're on that balance beam. Try not to tilt that back right left foot. Try and have your heels and toes nice and straight and breathe. <sighs> so melt your left hand to the top of the chair. Soften your left knee a little bit because we're just going to start to flex our right foot, lengthen our right leg, hover our right heel. And so all of our weights in our left leg, right? So try a balance challenge. Maybe hover your left hand and breathe. Or maybe if you're more comfortable, bring your right heel towards your floor and let it just touch down and then hover the left hand. So you have some choices here, right? So you, I, at this point, I'll show you my side profile. I'm just using my right heel as a kickstand if I'm not comfortable having my leg lifted and standing all my way to my left leg. And then we're all going to lower it on down. We're going to paddle side to side. Loosen it on up. So what I'm going to do is our left hand's resting on our chair. I want you to zip your legs up. So your knees are trying to touch. Your inner thighs are trying to touch. And then from here, your left hand's resting onto the top of the chair. You're standing tall. We're just going to start to shift our weight to our right. And then bend at that left knee, flexing your left foot, lifting it. And see if you come to a balance line. So again, here's my side profile. My knee is not, my left knee is not in front of my right, but they're just they're glued together. Think as if you're squeezing your inner thighs together as you lift that left foot and see if you can come into that balance challenge and hold. Hold, 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 and breathe. If you're more comfortable and you want to have that left toe as a kickstand behind you, where all of your weight's still in your right leg. And hold. Whoop and hold it there. So wherever you're most comfortable. And then we'll all lower our left foot down. We'll paddle side to side. We're going to make our way over to the other side of our chair. So here we are. Paddle your feet side to side. And we're just going to loosen it up again. So our right hand's on the top of the chair. We're going to flex our left leg. And we're going to do that pendulum swing. Let it come from the hip crease. As we do this, lower down and switch. So flex the right foot. Same thing, try not to kick your chair, try and keep your toes in line with your hips. Loosen it all, pedal your feet side to side. This time, balance feet, left foot in front of right. Standing nice and tall, breathe. And then lift your heart, lengthen through the spine, chins parallel to your floor. Come into your balance shaft and hold. So, one or two more breaths into this balance challenge. And then we'll float our hand, our right hand to the top of our chair. We'll start to shift our weight to our right. And then remember, you can either keep your left heel flexed in front of your left tip into the floor, or straighten your left leg and hover your left heel. And see if you can come into your balance challenge and hold and breathe. Find that focal point. Don't gaze. Don't break your gaze. Don't look all over your, your room, your house, or build your apartment. Or else you can, you'll lose your concentration and your balance. And lower it on down. Pedal side to side. Now this time again, we're going to glue our knees together. Glue our inner thighs together. Right hands on the top of the chair. Shift your weight to your left. Flex your right foot. Just bend at the knee and bring that heel on back. So here we are. Right? So my right knee is not in front. It's trying to stay in line with the left knee. All of my weights on my left leg. You can let go, maybe come into a balance challenge, or maybe just bring that, that tip of your shoe behind you as a balance challenge. So all of your weight is still in your left leg. So you've got some nice choices here to work on. Let's just have one more breath in and exhale. Lower it all down, paddle side to side. Loosen it on up, and one last time. Let's just loosen it up, pendulum swing. One straight leg, lower it on down, take the other one. 
maybe some leg curls, to loosen it on up. So we're gonna make our way behind our chair now. So here we are, behind our chair. Feet are hip width apart. Hands are resting on our chair. Think about, think about your feet are like maybe at this distance apart. They're not touching your inner thighs, your knees aren't touching, your hands are resting on top of the chair. Soften your knees. Spread out all ten toes. Hover your heels up off your floor. So, stay right where you are. Just coming, showing you how I got to do this. Think about soften your knees. Hover your heels. Belly button pulls in. A little bit of a pelvic tilt so as, as if you're pressing your hips forward. And your heels are hovered, so you're balancing and you can hover your hands. Imagine that all ten toes are spread out in your shoes. So you're using your toes and the balls of your feet. And your knees are slightly bent, your heels are lifted. And you're breathing, comfortable breaths. So don't lock your knees, don't stand tall, protect those knees by keeping them a little bent with your heels lifted. And hold it there, breathe, breathe, breathe. Maybe you have to tap, tap the top of your chair, maybe you're using fingertips on the top of your chair. If you're feeling really good and you want a little added bonus, maybe bend and sink down just a little more. It's going to make it more challenging. You're going to feel it in those major muscles. Heels are still hovered. And come on up. Lower those heels down. Let's add some leg curls. Loosen it up. Break up any fatigue that you might have felt. So, nice job, everyone. We're going to come around. We're going to come back and have a seat in our chair. Here we are. Grab a quick drink on the way if you like. And we're going to do a little cardio as we're seated. Just going to change the music as you grab your quick drink. And if you want to stand for this one, you're always welcome to stand. Sitting up nice and tall. Here's our cardio portion. <laughs> Tap your toes. Roll your feet. Feet tap the floor. Roll and shake it out. We're going to roll it. Shake it out. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Roll it. Shake it one more time. Stand up tall. Tap those toes. Tap those hands right above your thighs. Roll your feet. Heel, toe. Now sit up tall, hands on the hips, heels, abdomen. Press those heels, 
Maybe roll your wrist and your knees. Maybe take your chin, your gaze towards your left shoulder. Come back front and center and release. Roll the shoulders and then your right arm can press on up. If this feels okay for you, maybe press on the back of the arm. Maybe a little grip on the elbow. Maybe you bind your hands between your shoulder blades, whatever works for you. Roll the shoulders, left arm. Over. Roll the wrist. Maybe the gaze goes to the right shoulder. Back to the front and release. And again, stretching out that tricep on the left side. And down, roll in your shoulders. Two big cleansing breaths. Inhale, sit up tall. Scoop up. Let it out. One more time. And let it out. We are done, ladies and gentlemen. What a fabulous job. Thank you so much for watching. Continue to watch the video. Stay active and healthy. Take care of yourself. And I hope to see you soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye.